Our next issue, or our next item that we felt feel strong about is um, animal care and services. Can a community-wide solution be formulated to address all local animal control ordinances and improve existing issues related to animal care and neglect? Um, currently, the county right now, is, as you know, the county is working on updating its animal uh, control ordinances. Um, and my concern and how this came up of course uh, through service delivery the county is charged with animal control that means that we also we handle animal control in the city as well uh, when there's different ordinances in each one of these communities animal control officers when they go into that community they need to have a better understanding of all the different ordinances and what is enforceable and what they can do uh, in these different communities. So again, looking at a, a, a collective ordinance that can be adopted that everyone can agree on, uh, I think would be uh, extremely important as far as enforcement goes. I don't think there's anybody in this room that, uh, that doesn't understand the concerns about animal cruelty. The key is here is where is that line drawn at? And we've struggled with it as a county. We've been working together uh, for, for example, uh, for uh, tethering requirements. Uh, and I say that's really what it is. It's more tethering requirements. It's the proper way to tether uh, so that you don't cross that line over into the area of animal cruelty. But again, it's extremely important that it's something that we address community-wide so that it is consistent all the way through this community. I feel strong about that, um, and so that's, I'll, I'll start with that, and then if there's anybody there that, from your local experiences, what you have with animal control, we'll certainly, um, let's see if there's some way that we, uh, that we can find against consistencies amongst our local government. Yes, sir. You know, when you look at animal control, you've got two different set of circumstances. You have an urbanized area and the rural area. And while, yes, the highly urbanized area does need a lot more ordinances to address the uh, issues, et cetera, dogs and cats, et cetera. In the rural area, you don't need those same rules. So it'd be difficult for me to see uh, we're going to have one rule apply across both those uh, situations. And uh, how do you approach it? You know, I, as far as I know, in the city of Alaska, it's been a good service so far. I believe in several circumstances where we had dog friendly issues, dog issues, those issues were handled and taken care of. And control officer. I think we've got to be careful. I agree, and I think that that really is, you know, it's, it's part of the discussion that we need to get to, is how can we, how can we, or is it even possible, as you're saying, uh, to, you know, to marry those two uh, different areas together to where you can have an ordinance that would be enforceable, uh, you know, community-wide. Uh, and I understand, you know, the difference in leash laws, and I understand folks that, uh, uh, out in the rural areas that just assume their their animals just you know just run loose and run free. Uh, it's still an issue, and it's still an issue of whether or not if you live in the um, in the unincorporated areas of Lowndes County, uh, we still have some some densely populated subdivisions and some densely populated areas in the unincorporated area that basically you could say fits uh, an urban uh, set of guidelines. So I think that there are some cases uh, that you can actually look at some of those things and see if we can find a better way to strengthen what we currently have. And that, that really is what the county is currently trying to do. Uh, but I, you know, I, I can see myself where it would be a difficult challenge for an animal control officer each time he goes into different municipalities, different governmental jurisdictional areas, and then he's trying to figure out at this point, you know, what applies? What can I do and what I can't do? Uh, I've always said I feel like it's extremely important that we that we try to find a way that, from the energy standpoint of animal 
and cruelty is that we're able to find a way that we can clearly define the line of where folks cross over that line. And, and I know that's difficult, but it still is there's an area there that we should be able to accomplish to say, okay, well, you now have a real problem. Um, you might have a problem that you don't see today, but it's going to be there tomorrow. So do you wait until the crime is committed before you actually can make some efforts, you know, to improve your situation? Those are the concerns that I have from that standpoint. So, uh, we may not be able to get there with animal control, but I think we've got to start those discussions and see if there's a way to do it. But I agree, it is totally different. But yet we do, we still do have some areas that are very common in the unincorporated areas as well as in the cities. I'd like to add anything to that. Well, I think going back to animal cruelty, I think, you know, we can all come together on what constitutes cruelty. Not necessarily leash laws and everything that's comprehensive of, uh, of animal ordinances, but just getting to the point of what cruelty is. I think cruelty in the city limits versus cruelty in the county limits is going to be the same thing. I mean, that's what we've got to, that's what we've got to get to the mind is what, what can our, uh, Officers actually do as far as the cruelty standards. Okay. All right, is there any particular um, agencies that would need to be involved or uh, staff that would need to be involved in looking at this issue? Uh, from the city standpoint, I might be you know, automatically from the county standpoint, we say animal control. Uh, but I don't know if there's anyone uh, in the in the cities uh, that you can think of that would actually need to be involved in some potential discussions to see if these issues can be addressed and see if we can come together. But at least to get to get the discussion started and get the get some formulation of some guidelines put together. We have to start somewhere uh, and with some groups. And there again, it might just be a, a, a couple of commissioners and a couple of councilmen uh, from the different uh, communities to try to see if there's some way that we can come together on this to start that discussion. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Well, thank you.